గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ దిస్ ఈస్ డాక్టర్ ఎస్ హర్నాథ్ బాబు అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ ఫిజిక్స్ అన్నమాచార్య ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ సైన్సెస్ రాజన్ పేట్ టుడే ఐ డిస్కస్ ద ఫిజికల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ అండ్ సింథసిస్ ఆఫ్ నానో మెటీరియల్స్ ఫస్ట్ వీ డిస్కస్ ద మెకానికల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ మెకానికల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఆఫ్ నానో మెటీరియల్స్ మే రీచ్ ద థిరిటికల్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ విచ్ ఆర్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ ఆర్డర్స్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ హైయర్ దాన్ దట్ ఆఫ్ సింగిల్ క్రిస్టల్స్ ఇన్ ద బల్క్ ఫార్మ్ the enhancement in mechanical strength is due to the reduced reduced probability of defects so by decreasing the grain size into nano scale range then the mechanical strength will be increased young's modulus will be decreased and hardness will be increased so here the grain size of the material is decreased to nano scale range that is from 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer range elastic modulus uh, fracture toughness uh, scratch resistance fatigue strength and hardness are changed with respect to size of the material or grain size of the materials here the by decreasing the grain size into nano scale range the young's modulus is decreased next sigma is the sigma is equal to shearing strength sigma is equal to sigma naught plus k by root d where sigma naught is the friction stress d is the grain size of the material k is the constant next hardness of the material capital h is equal to hi plus k by root of d where hi is the wicker uh, hardness k is the constant d is the grain size of the material so where the gr- grain size of the material is decreased into nano scale range then the shear strength and hardness are increased because the dimension of the material is in the denominator root of d that is in denominator that's why if the size is decreased into nano scale range then the shear strength and hardness of the materials will be increased thermal properties the nano crystalline materials would have lower thermal conductivity when compared to bulk materials so by decreasing the grain size the number of grain boundaries will be increased and phonon scattering at disordered boundaries will also be increased resulting in lower thermal conductivity so by decreasing the grain size into nano scale range then grain boundaries will be increased due to increasing the grain boundaries then phonon scattering will be increased then the thermal conductivity will be decreased so in nano wires the strong phonon phonon interaction and enhanced scattering at grain boundaries result in reduction in thermal conductivity in multi layered coatings the phonons in a certain frequency range may not propagate to the neighboring layer unless there are more conversions at the interface so all the uh, uh, fre- frequencies cannot propagate through the neighboring layers because some more conversion is required so thermal conductivity will be decreased by decreasing the grain size of the materials <coughs> next chemical properties the reactivity and catalyst catalyst properties are increased as the size decreased so by decreasing the grain size the interatomic distance decreases and more number of atoms comes to the surface then the these surface atoms chemically reacted easily and fastly with other chemicals next catalyst property is also increased by increasing the grain size into nano scale range next one synthesis of nano materials nano materials can be synthesized in two ways they are top down method and bottom up method top down process bulk materials are broken into nano sized particles no control over the size and morphology of the particles some methods are one ball milling plasma arcing laser sputtering for physical vapor deposition etc 
so here in the diagram the uh, top down technique in top down technique we are taking the bulk material having size in micrometer range then that materials are cut into small pieces small powder again that small powder is cut into small further small particles that are called nanoparticles second method is bottom up process building of nanomaterial from bottom that is atom by atom molecule by molecule cluster by cluster so here in this diagram in bottom up method in bottom we are taking the atoms this is these are chemical methods the, the atoms are combined together form clusters these clusters are again combined together and form the nanoparticles so bottom up process are chemical process top down methods are physical process the different methods bottom up methods are well sol gel method colloidal method electro deposition method chemical vapor deposition method solution phase reduction method etc so first in our syllabus we have two different methods that is ball milling method and chemical vapor deposition method first we discuss the ball milling method principle some hard balls are allowed to rotate inside the container and then it is made to fall on a solid base with high force to crush the solid into nanoparticles so in the container we are taking the bulk material and uh, solid uh, balls are taken steel balls or carbide tungsten carbide balls are taken these carbide balls are uh, rotated then these uh, balls are crushing the material and due to the crushing mechanical attrition force is uh, transferred to the materials then the material is broken and form a small nanoparticles so here we are taking the apparatus so it is the ball milling method apparatus here in the container so it is the container in container we are taking the powder micro powder of material and then the tungsten carbide balls are rotated in the container then it is this container is closed with the lid here you can take the different type of balls tungsten carbide balls steel balls or different type of balls based on the material uh, which material we are going to convert into nanoparticles so construction and working of the ball milling so hard steel or carbide balls are put in a container along with the bulk powder of desired material container is closed with the lid the energy is transferred to the powder from refractory or steel balls it depends on one the rotational speed or vibration speed so in some type of containers balls are rotated in some type of containers balls are vibrated so the speed that is depending on speed rotation speed or vibration speed second one the size and number of the balls so how many number of balls we are using for milling the material and uh, uh, what is the size of the ball so that is depending so third one ratio of ball to powder mass fourth one time of milling fifth one milling atmosphere so these are the dependent factors advantages it is well defined and inexpensive process second one nano powders with particle size 2 to 20 nanometer in large quantities can be produced disadvantages one the shape of nanoparticles is irregular this method is second one this method introduces crystal defects third one introduction of impurities from balls and milling additives so next one chemical vapor deposition method so mechanism transport of gas phase material into the reaction tone second one absorption and diffusion of molecules on the substrate fourth one chemical reactions at the substrate fourth one desorption of by products from substrate growth of film here we are taking the chemical vapor deposition uh, instrument here it is the reaction chamber in reaction chamber we are arranging the substrate so on the holder so here we are using one filament uh, heater then this uh, heater is uh, heated by using the joule heating uh, method 
then the substrate is heated up to required temperature then it is the uh, this uh, gas inlet through this uh, inlet the required gas is passing into the chamber where we are taking the precursor uh, this precursor is heated to very high temperature and uh, uh, vapor metal vapor is formed that metal vapor is added with the uh, carrier gas and that is uh, enter into the reaction chamber and the reaction chamber and substrate the material is formed like thin film then the byproducts are are going out through the gas exhaust so this is the chemical vapor deposition instrument here the mechanism so already we discussed the uh, five different type of mechanisms so according to this method, method the precursor in vapor phase entering into the reaction chamber so here we are taking this is the precursor vapor phase of precursor this uh, precu vapor phase precursor is added with the carrier gas then the uh, carrier gas along with the precursor vapor entering into the reaction chamber so in reaction chamber the the precursor vapor is dissociated and the uh, metal atoms are absorbed on the uh, substrate and these atoms are diffused on the surface of the substrate like glass substrate etc so on the uh, substrate surface these uh, glass atoms or foreign atoms uh, act as a catalyst then the chemical reaction takes place after a chemical reaction takes place the byproducts are released these byproducts are uh, dissolved from the substrate and uh, and sent out from the reaction chamber so these desorption oxygen ligands are reacted with the hydrogen uh, atoms and hydrogen fluoride is formed this hydrogen fluoride is uh, sent out through the gas exhaust so on the substrate uh, surface the thin film is formed so it is the uh, deposition thin film is deposit, deposited the characteristics of uh, chemical vapor deposition applied at uh, elevated temperature to facilitate a reaction typically applied under vacuum so we are using the uh, vacuum inside the reaction chamber uh, to avoid the impurities uh, con contaminants must be removed from the pot surface before coating the application process may limit the base materials that can be coated temperature limitations are reactivity limitations process may limit the ability to mask specific target areas unlike most physical vapor deposition process the chemical vapor deposition process is not limited to one of site to sorry to line of site application coating gas will coat all areas of a part including threads blind holes and interior surface film thickness is limited due to coating stress coating is bonded to the surface during the reaction which creates a superior addition when compared to typical pvd or low temperature applied spray coatings advantages of this method first one chemical vapor deposition is a low cost and high yield method second one the temperature of the deposition is low third one both single and multi wall nanotubes can be produced fourth one high purity uh, nanomaterials can be produced fifth one can be applied to a wide variety of base materials including ceramics glass metals and metal alloys coating drawbacks first one typically applied at high temperatures uh, depending on the precursor second one difficult to mask surface usually an all or nothing coatings third one size limited to reaction chamber capacity fourth one parts must be broken down into individual components and is not 
and 